basic Hebrew searches. This podcast requires a working knowledge of Hebrew, but no knowledge of Accordance Bible software. If you put in the time to learn Hebrew, Accordance is the Bible software for you. We have a host of Hebrew texts and resources and an amazing set of search tools. This podcast covers five basic kinds of Hebrew searches, how to modify those searches with search commands and symbols, and how to type in Hebrew. Accordance offers a lot of Hebrew resources, covering biblical, post-biblical, and extra-biblical texts. We also offer select resources in Aramaic, Syriac, and Ugaritic. Texts marked with a dagger superscript are morphologically tagged, while the asterisk designates those that include a critical apparatus. Basic Hebrew Searches Accordance offers five different kinds of Hebrew searches. Conveniently, we can see them all by right-clicking any word in a tagged Hebrew text and choosing Search For. Here they are in order. Lexeme, Inflected, Root, Tag, and one unique to Hebrew searches, Word or Literal Search. Let's take a look at each of them in turn. All of Accordance's Hebrew searches ignore attached prefixes and suffixes, except the word or literal search, which is something we'll want to keep in mind as we review them. Here's more detail on each of the basic search types. The lexeme search has no symbol since it's the default search. It looks for the dictionary form of the verb or noun and searches for all forms, that's all conjugations and all declensions derived from it. The inflected search places quote marks around the word. It looks for this exact string of Hebrew consonants and ignores vowel points and final forms. The root search uses a plus sign to indicate it. It looks for the base form of a word, usually a verb. It searches for all words using this root, including compound words using the root. The tag search uses square brackets around the morphological information and it searches for the morphological tag of the word. It searches for words with its exact morphological tag, and it ignores syntax tagging. It's often used with lexeme searches, where the format is the lexeme followed by the at sign. The at sign joins the various search criteria so they must apply to the same word. Next is the word or literal search. It too has no symbol. It searches for the entire Hebrew word, that is the inflected form, plus any attached prefixes or suffixes. Finally, the exact search uses an equal sign before the word. It looks for the exact form of the lexeme or inflected form. That means it also requires accordance to match vowel points and final forms. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to use these different searches in accordance. Well, I'm going to just select a word and right click and choose a search. Searches can also be initiated by choosing an item from the main search menu or simply typing a word or verse reference in the search entry box. The first search is for this lexeme. Notice that Accordance automatically chooses the correct one of several different lexemes spelled this way. It also added the vav and made the search exact, neither of which we want, so we could just delete them. The result? 5,365 hits. Let's open the analysis, and we can see there that there are 74 biblical forms derived from this lexeme. I'll turn off Recycle so we can preserve this pane, then run another search, this time for the inflected form. This produces considerably fewer results, only 2,167 with 10 different forms. If you'll look closely at these forms, you'll notice the consonants are all the same. They differ only in vowel pointing. That's exactly what an inflected search does. Once again, we'll turn off Recycle and run another search, this time for the root form. This search is the largest in extent, and the number of hits proves it. It finds every form derived from this root, all of the words, 5,515 total occurrences, 107 different forms. Now for that search unique to Hebrew, the word or literal search. It's the only one that requires we include the Vav. 2,085 hits and four forms. The final search is the one for the grammatical tag. 
a cow verb with a conjunctive particle. Yes, I accidentally picked up the vav again. We'll just leave it there this time. The results? 7,330 words. Let's zoom into this pane so we can see the two different pointings of the vav and at least some of the 305 different verbs that are found in the cow third masculine singular. Accordance makes all this just this simple. Let's look at our search results using a graphic. The root search for a more yielded 5,515 hits and 16 forms. The lexeme search found 5,365 hits in two forms, while the inflected search found 2,167 hits in two forms. The exact inflected 1,952 hits in one form. And finally, the search that is unique to Hebrew, the word or literal search, produced 2,085 hits and two forms. Hebrew searches can also take advantage of the various search symbols. Any of these can be typed or entered directly from the menu. Let's take a look at just two of them, the wild card and the character wild card. The wild card, represented by an asterisk, substitutes for any number of characters, including none. It's useful when, for instance, we want to do something like find all of the words in the Hebrew Bible that begin with Aleph. Opening analysis will give us a list of our results. There's an amazing number. The second search symbol is the question mark. It represents a character wildcard. That means it can represent any single character. Let's use it in this search for the name Isaac which the Bible spells two different ways, with just a single character difference between the two. We can also use Accordance's seven different connecting commands in our Hebrew searches. They allow for considerably more precision, whether we're searching for roots, lexemes, or inflected forms. And, for example, finds every verse that has both of these words, while OR looks for every verse that has either of these two words and it includes the verses that have both words. The NOT search finds every verse that has the first word, but not the second word, while the XOR finds every verse that has either the first word or the second word, but excludes the verses that have both words. Followed by finds every verse that has both words in this order, no matter how many intervening words there are. Preceded by finds every verse that has both words in the opposite of this order, again, no matter how many intervening words there are. And finally, within, finds every verse that has both of these words, where the words are separated by no more than question mark words. That, of course, is where the question mark is replaced by any whole number. I've opened and detached the keyboard characters palette, just so you can see how it can be incorporated into an accordance layout. I've also already entered two different Hebrew words into the search entry box, which will save us a lot of airtime, since I'm notoriously poor at typing in Hebrew. All that we have left to do to insert a connecting command between them is to type the appropriate keyboard shortcut. Most of them are very easy to remember. Command or Control plus A for AND. Here, let's open the analysis pane so we can see the difference in these searches. I'll make the text a bit bigger, like so, and the pane a bit narrower. There. All right, back to our searches. Now, Command or Control plus O for OR, Command or Control plus X for XOR, and Command or Control plus N for NOT. It's that simple. Typing in Hebrew. If we don't start our Hebrew searches from a word in the text, we're going to have to learn at least a little bit about typing in Hebrew, at least for those of us who are not native speakers of the language. Most of us just use a standard English keyboard, and the placement of most of the Hebrew characters on it is pretty intuitive. If we're not sure of a letter, we can open the Characters palette from Accordance's Windows menu. We can switch to any of the Accordance fonts using this menu, and even detach the palette and leave it on our desktop using this button. Hovering over any character shows its name and keyboard position in the lower left-hand corner, which is a great way to find the location of that obscure character. While clicking on the character, types it in the search entry box or any other active text entry area. 
If we're going to do a lot of typing in Hebrew, it's probably worthwhile to download and print Accordance's keyboard maps and overstrike tables. They're all in a single file called Accordance Fonts on this documentation page. The keyboard layouts are only for Accordance's supplied fonts, by the way. For those of you more comfortable with an Israeli keyboard, Accordance allows us that option under Preferences Greek and Hebrew. Just check Use Israeli Keyboard Layout for Hebrew. Whatever keyboard and layout we choose, switching to words in the search entry box of any Hebrew text automatically changes its font to Hebrew. Typing just the first letter or two shows the relevant choices in quick entry, and the choices change if we type the symbol for an inflected search, a root search, or a word or literal search. In each of these searches, we can use the arrow keys to navigate to the word we want, then click or tab to enter the word. Now that's handy if there's additional criteria we want to add to the search. However, if we just want to search for the word, we can hit return or enter. That will enter and search the word in a single step. I should probably add we can also choose to use one of the international keyboards supplied with our computer's operating system. This will mean switching back and forth between keyboards manually, but some people do prefer that method. Mac users can add keyboards through System Preference Keyboards and display these keyboards in the menu. Having them there makes it easier to switch back and forth, and we can see the layout of each keyboard by choosing Show Keyboard Layout. PC users can also add international keyboards, this time in their Settings, Region, and Language, and then choose them from the menu, and view them with a Windows utility called On-Screen Keyboard. I trust this quick overview of basic Hebrew searches will enable you to get the most out of your Accordance resources. We'll cover more advanced Hebrew searches, including phrase searches, in a future podcast. Meanwhile, know that we take a great deal of satisfaction in offering our customers the very best in Hebrew texts and resources. It's been a priority of ours for over 20 years. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.